Alice Eugenia Millicent Bainbridge has been writing Dear Alice for over 30 years. In that time, she has been indirectly responsible for 32 deaths, the majority of which were murder-suicides, three airline disasters, and at least two epidemics. I can answer, and have answered, every question put to me. I am quite talented at it. Occasionally, quality of the question does not rise to the level of excellence of the answer, and this may account for some of the confusion. I mean, she was a legend. Did you know she single-handedly solved the fiasco at the 4-H floral exhibit? That could have turned really ugly. But she managed to convince everyone that white lilies are not racist. Well, I needed a job, and what better person to turn to than her? I don't think she understood what I wanted. I mean, I needed guidance. And she told me to take up water skiing. Needless to say, I didn't get the job. Um, after my husband died, um, Alice said he, he was watching over me. Um, but all, all I do now is touch myself. I mean, she told me to tell people this, so I, I posted it on Match.com. And I have a lot of dates now, but we, we never seem to leave the house. She said, follow your dreams. So I, I quit my job as a, a cashier at the fruit stand, and I really miss the vegetables, especially the cruciferous ones. I especially miss the cucumbers. Um, I mean, fiber's real good for you, right? Isn't it? Everyone says so. Over the years, Alice Bainbridge wrote many self-help books. The biggest selling, We Need to Get Going, Life Lessons Learned from Famous Prison Escapes, was the number one selling self-help book among convicted felons for over two years. So this is the advice she gives me. Be a part of your community. Do something for your community. I'm like, really? Really, Alice? So, what do I do? I go down the street to my local police station and I say, oh, you got any dead bodies I can identify? How do you think that went off? Huh? What do you think, Alice? Huh? They weren't amused, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> they were far from amused. Send off another letter, okay? Now what did she tell me? Embrace your inner self, she said. Embrace your inner self, really? Really, Alice. <laughs> I'm embracing. I'm embracing every day. Every day, Alice. This is what I'm embracing. It's going over great for me, too. Really. <laughs> loving it. I'm really loving it. You're the expert. Yeah. This noise is giving me a headache. Who? Who? Dear Abby. I I don't know what dear Abby is. Maybe it's a restaurant. <laughs> she told me to go the extra mile. We missed the runway. But by a lot. People died. I wrote to Alice about bedroom advice. She suggested role-playing, said to do whatever it is my husband was into. He's into cars. My husband goes to the gym all the time. He must be really into exercising. Turns out, he's just really into guys. Because of Alice's constant predilection towards corn-based mash liquors and subsequent rehab, her column in 1998 ran for just over two months with the same answer repeater for many different questions. Remember, a hug is always a welcome surprise. I followed Alice's advice, and now I'm not allowed within 200 yards of a school or playground. And I'm not allowed to have internet access and have to register any time I move to another city. Thanks, Alice. Thanks a lot.
There have only been a few murder-suicides. I really don't understand what all the fuss is about. After multiple congressional indictments, the Dear Alice column was shut down under the National Security Act of 1947, which primarily dealt with unifying the armed forces, but Congress was prepared to make an exception in this case. You were wrong, Alice, because I spent the night in jail. I spent the night in jail, and I'm glad she's gone. I'm glad. Remember, a smile is like a warm hug. I don't know where she gets this advice from, really. I, I, don't, I don't get it. You know, she's been doing this for 30 years? Really? 30 years? I think you better think of something else to do with your days. And now I have to sell Timmy the tiger. Okay, Mr. Cucumber. 